Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled, The Battle is Over, Really, by Wynn Caller. We were buried with him. Romans chapter 6, verse 4. For 29 years after World War II ended, Haru Hanada hid in the jungle, refusing to believe his country had surrendered. Japanese military leaders had dispatched Hanada to a remote island in the Philippines with orders to spy on the Allied forces. Long after a peace treaty had been signed and hostilities ceased, Hanada remained in the wilderness. In 1974, Hanada's commanding officer traveled to the island to find him and convinced him that the war was over. For three decades, Hanada lived a meager, isolated existence because he refused to surrender, refused to believe the conflict was done. We can make a similar mistake. Paul proclaims the stunning truth that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. On the cross, in a powerful, mysterious way, Jesus put to death Satan's lies, death's terror, and sin's tenacious grip. Though we're dead to sin and alive to God, we often live as though evil still holds the power. We yield to temptation, succumbing to sin's subduction. We listen to lies, failing to trust Jesus, but we don't have to yield. We don't have to live in a false narrative. By God's grace, we can embrace the true story of Christ's victory. While we're still wrestling with sin, liberation comes as we recognize that Jesus has already won the battle. May we live out the truth in Christ's power. How are you tempted to believe that the death of Jesus and the sin still holds power over your life? Where can you see Christ's victory already present in the world? Let us pray. Jesus, I know you've won the battle over evil and darkness. Would you please help me to live out this in my life daily? In Jesus' name, amen. Once again, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I'm going to encourage you today to subscribe to the channel. Please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. We want to grow our virtual community in these trying times that we're in. God bless you and you have a great day.